So I've got my computer pad, I've got my laptop, and I've got my EMF meter, tri-field meter. So this is a, a Harapad computer pad. It's a 13 inch model, 13 by 9 inches. So you can see it's a little bit small for this laptop because laptops are 15 inch, but it's, it's perfectly adequate for what I want to show you today. According to the Harapad website, it's made from long lead and tungsten free military grade radiation shielding material. And it's designed to do two things. It's designed to shield from magnetic fields and it's designed to shield from heat, uh, to quote the website, to prevent toasted skin syndrome or laptop induced dermatosis which can lead to skin cancer. Uh, that's what their website says. So, uh, my main concern is obviously magnetic fields and this is what I'm going to show you. Um, so, I've got my laptop here which is switched on and my tri-field meter, I'm going to put it on the magnetic field setting. So, we're looking at the top scale here between 0 and 100. It goes from 0 to 100, yeah, which is milli gauss. So what we're going to do is I'm going to put this trifill meter underneath the laptop here and see what happens. So there we go, you see, and we're pretty much maxing out. Uh, you can see the needle here hopefully, um, which is kind of 100 or more. It's, a, it's right at the top. So what does that mean? Well, <laughs> it means the magnetic fields are high. Um, uh, what does that mean exactly? Well, um, studies show that there are uh, adverse biological effects at levels which are much, much lower than this. Uh, leukemia is one concern, one concern. One study on young boys found that leukemia risk doubled at only 1.4 milligauss and above. And the risks aren't just about uh, leukemia. There's lots of other health issues with this, um, notably low sperm count and infertility. The Bioinitiative report recommends a level of 1 milligauss, so 1 milligauss on here, yeah, and we're getting 100. So I want you to watch what happens now as I insert this computer pad underneath the laptop. Try and get it nice and straight. There we go. So underneath the laptop and Okay, and switch it back on again, and we put it under here, see what happens. And you see we're getting readings of about 20, 25 milligauss. So what does that mean? Well, <laughs> it's better, isn't it? Uh, it's lower than the 100 was getting before, uh, but in this particular case, uh, the levels are still high, a lot higher than what are considered safe levels. So what does this mean in a general sense? Well, uh, it depends on the laptop in question because my tests show that laptops vary enormously in terms of uh, magnetic field emissions. Some laptops can give significantly more, some significantly less uh, magnetic field exposures than this. And it also depends on how you use your laptop, which I'm going to talk about a bit more afterwards. But what you can appreciate here is that even with this computer pad, even with this computer pad which is used uh, properly, the magnetic fields at close proximity far exceed the recommended safety limits, which are 1 milligauss. So even with the computer pad, you should not be using your laptop on your lap. And you can also see that depending on where you, your knees come, underneath the desk here, even if you use your laptop on your desk, you may still be exposing yourself to high magnetic fields. So not just your knees are going to get this, but you know, your, your stomach and your groin and uh, you know, whatever's uh, in closest contact to it. So what can we conclude from this demonstration? Firstly, never use your laptop on your lap. And when I say never, I mean never even use it on your lap with one of these computer pads. Yeah, 
this is important because I'm guessing that some people, a lot of people, buy these computer pads thinking that using the laptop on the lap with the computer pad makes it safe. Wrong. As my demonstration here shows, this is not necessarily the case. Yeah. And the second thing we conclude here is that even using your laptop on your desk, like this, you may still be exposed to high levels of magnetic fields if the distance between you, your, your, your laptop and your, and your body is not sufficient. Yeah, if the distance between your laptop and your body is not su uh, sufficient. So if this distance is not sufficient, I recommend using a computer pad like this one. So here I've only talked about laptop, about, about, about using a laptop, but the same applies for an iPad or other tablet. If you're using it on your lap or on your desk, same problem, same, same scenario. The other thing I want to mention is Wi-Fi. This computer pad only offers protection from magnetic fields, but there are other versions which are designed to shield radio frequency radiation, that's to say Wi-Fi. So maybe you're thinking it's better to buy a computer pad which can protect you from RF radiation and, and uh, these magnetic fields so that you can use your laptop more safely with Wi-Fi mode activated. Be careful here. Don't think that by using a little 13 inch by 9 inch or even 15 inch computer pad somehow you're magically protected from Wi-Fi. Your modem is emitting RF radiation which permeates your room, your office, your home, it's, it, it's everywhere. A computer pad that has RF shielding can only stop the RF radiation from going through the pad. Yeah. So if your computer pad is on the laptop, it only shields this little 13 by 9 inch area but the RF radiation is still everywhere else in the room. So my recommendation is to use a hardwired internet connection. Using a computer pad with RF radiation shielding will do virtually nothing to protect you from the ambient levels of RF radiation generated by a wireless modem. Using a computer pad like this one with your laptop or tablet is only of value if you use it in the right way as shown in this video. My name is Lloyd from electricsense.com Thank you.